Hi guys, tie-dye Chris here. Um, so this week we're gonna do a quick flip through on a journal that I've made for my daughter. Um, as some of you know, she just announced that she's engaged to be married. So it's a fairy tale, happy ending for her. And we're very excited and we're happy for her to marry her fiance, Lon. Um, Lon is a good guy. He's never stopped loving her. They were together before and broke up for a while. She came back home to Florida for a while to kind of, you know, sow some wild oats and to get some things out of her system. And he kind of was always waiting in the wings for her, you know? So she recently got back together with him and moved back to Denver and they've been doing really well. And we're very, very happy that she's found some security and some happiness. So I decided to make her a journal that she can keep track of her wedding plans and things in. And as you know, Lisa's a rock and roller. She's a musician and she performs and she's always been my little rock and roll. <laughs> so um, this journal is actually um, nearly complete and it's featuring some of the things that I got in Swap this week from Elizabeth and from Nissa. And I hope I said that right, Nissa or Nisa. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> So anyways, I just want to show you really quickly what we've done here. It's just a quick flip through. And it's using um, the great kind of that rock star stack. I, I'm, I'm not sure if it's DMC or whatever that did it. Cupcake liner, flower embellishment. And now Lisa has a tattoo on both of her hands that says live loud. And so I stamped out a bunch of live loud cards for little journal cards for her. <laughs> and that's kind of a punk rock sticker of um, a Sailor Moon Hitler. <laughs> it's kind of feminizing and demask emasculating him. I think it's kind of funny. I don't know. I hope she gets the humor in it. Um, this is a tuck spot here. And this is also a cupcake liner that I made into a journal card. So we have a little bling here for um, a little spot for her to tuck things. Here's another tuck spot. This is um, a painting that I found in Somerset magazine. And she likes to draw Frankenstein's bride. It's kind of a theme in her art. So I thought it was really cute. It was her, her and Frankenstein, kind of like Lisa and Lon, you know? Um, and here is another little journal card. And of course with the cupcake liners, I put like a light color on the back so that they can be written on. I didn't really put a pocket or anything down here because I figure I'll leave her some space in here to glue pictures and things down. I'll send her a glue stick and some washi tape to match her journal. Here's a little tag that I made and it's got one of those, um, I think it's a Dina Wakely, picture of a Dina, Dina Wakely advertisement out of the um, Somerset, but I, you know, it fit pretty well for a tag here. And here's the advertisement from the Disney Movie Club for, they've been advertising this collection of Nightmare Before Christmas and of course Lisa's one of those 90s kids and she loves a Nightmare Before Christmas and everything Tim, Tim Burton. Here's a little, um, uh, I always want to say flip out but it's, I know it's something to do with a uh, um, tab or whatever, flip out I call them, where she can write on that. Here's another journal tag. I only did the, the jewels halfway around so that it would fit into the slot pretty well here. And it's got this kind of this pinup girl rockabilly sticker. I got those stickers. They're called computer stickers or state skateboard stickers and I buy lots of them on eBay. Here's a kind of a punk rock tattooed Marilyn Monroe sticker. This is all up her alley so, you know, I'm sure she's going to dig it. Um, just lots of pink and black, which are colors that she wears frequently. She wears a lot of this like leopard, pink leopard print looking stuff. She's, she's very kind of 80s glam, 90s punk, you know. Um, she does the whole different colors of her hair. Currently her hair is bright red, like Little Mermaid red. In celebration, if you're friends with her on Facebook, um, you can check it out. But it, in celebration of her engagement, because she wants a Little Mermaid wedding. They still haven't decided on 
whether they're going to come down here to Florida to get married or if they're going to do it in the mountains. I just made a bunch of, like cut out a bunch of these pictures out of the, that stack of little, you know, things. I might still glue some of these down and some of them I'll leave for her to um, put throughout the book. So those are just hanging out in there for right now. Anyways, I'm super happy with how this little book came out. It took me a couple of days. It didn't take me a ton of time. I'm not going to like extreme detail here. Here's a Nightmare Before Christmas advertisement. This one here says set list on it. So it's kind of cool and rock and roll. This is a bit of that paper that Nissa sent me. There's some pieces of that paper throughout. Um, here's a piece of hand painted paper that I think came in Nissa's package. And I made a little tag here with a like a skull Mickey Mouse on it, like a sugar skull Mickey Mouse. They had discussed maybe having the wedding here and, and maybe honeymooning at Disney World or maybe honeymooning on taking a cruise. Some blank pages that she can put pictures and things. There's I've left a few pages and kind of blank in here. <clears throat> Painted envelope. Lisa's definitely the queen bee, so I used the queen bee stamp for that. Um, here's that page that I previewed in um, Sugar's Candies in our group on Facebook. Um, this was also from some of the stuff that Nissa sent me. And I have had a zombie Rosie the Riveter sticker, which I felt like the colors were pretty spot on for the sugar skull. So this whole page is all about the kind of the green and the red. And I love how it kind of clashes with the pink. It's perfect. This was also, I, I'm not sure if that's Diane Ra Ravely or whatever might have painted that. But that was a picture that was also in Somerset. And since it looks like Nightmare Before Christmas, if it's the theme of Lisa's kind of little gothy, punky journal little rock guitars. Now Lisa plays a Stratocaster, but she's also played BC Rich guitars and she has an acoustic guitar and she's also played Fender bass for a heavy metal band. But she's played mostly, she's really pretty good on guitar. She can kind of shred. So this is the, um, the little pink gingham bow that Elizabeth sent this week. And I think it's adorable in this journal. <laughs> so adorable fits it so perfectly some more of that just that kind of rock and roll this is another pocket here um, and I think this envelope came with Elizabeth's package and I put a little eyeball sticker in there a little envelope for her to keep things in some um, some powerful women comic book hero stickers Here's a paint tag, paint sample tag, purple on the back, and I put the Batgirl on the front. I put some, I had like these metal stud jewels so that, you know, Lisa likes to stud out her, her denim jackets. She's, you know, always kind of doing the little handmade punk rock, you know, painted patched up leather denim, leather or denim vest or jackets. So that's part of her style. Those little leather studs are definitely part of her stud. She's got a lot of 80s punk in her. And, you know, here's some 80s glam rock looking paper. 80s punk glam. Um, I just loved the, the theme of this, this stack. It so fits Lisa's personality. A little bit of glitter paper there on the bottom. I actually found that stack, I think, at the Dollar Tree, which was a pretty good deal for that you know glitter paper is usually pretty expensive and this was just a smaller stack this is like a little blunt smoking caterpillar <laughs> she lives in Colorado okay <laughs> enough said there <laughs> all right and then of course let's party because that's what her wedding is gonna be it's gonna be a big party we're gonna have a lot of fun there's a little punk rock um, Statue of Liberty sticker this was also in the, the package of stuff that Nissa sent me. So, yeah, totally perfect for Lisa. Lisa and Nissa, I think, would have so much in common. They would be good friends if they ever met in real life. And um, it's I think this was from a vapor or something, from a vapor package. But it's a Ziploc. And it's, I just kind of put it as a tip out. 
yeah, that's what it is. It's a tip out. <laughs> I remembered. <laughs> so, um, you know, I thought it fit because Lon's kind of a lucky devil. Lisa's kind of a lucky devil too, because she's getting Lon. So they're both lucky devils. And they, I like that it's kind of a zip pouch that they can put something more of a keepsake or whatever in, you know. Um, here's a little tuck spot here. It says Pussy Cat, and I put some of those um, Hello Kitty stickers there for her. This is a painted envelope that I put sort of as a fold out. I put a little picture kind of frame looking thing. It's painted inside and out. She could put a picture of the two of them or of my grand dog Odin, who I miss his velvety soft ears and his excellent head tilts. I mean, you know, he's one of the head tiltingest puppies I've ever met. And I miss the head tilt so severely. My dog, my old dog Tina, she'll head tilt like if you say want to go for a car ride, you know. She'll head tilt a little bit, but she's kind of like, you know, too good for the head tilt. She's a little over the head tilt. But Odin's still all young and cute and perky, and he'll do the head tilt, and it melts your heart. <laughs> so I miss Odin, my grand dog. Oh my God, she's going to get married now and have babies, and it's going to be even worse. I'm going to miss all my grand things my grand puppies and my grandkids. Grandma's just gonna have to find cheap flights to Denver. We actually did find a pretty cheap flight out of New Orleans direct on Frontier to Denver. We can all four fly for under 600 bucks. And so that's a load off of us because we should be, at first I was thinking it's gonna cost us a couple thousand dollars to make it to the wedding, you know, if they have it in Colorado. They're still deciding. They might rent a couple of vans and just bring their whole wedding party down here. And if that's the case, we'll rent them a big beach house out in, on the Forgotten Coast in Cape Sandblast, which is like super affordable and super beautiful and super pristine. Still out there, not a lot of touristy looking stuff. And here's just um, a, an envelope that I glitter painted. And inside of there, there's more of those punk rock stickers and things that she can play with. So that's pretty much it. I'm excited to be able to give this to her. I'm gonna get it in the mail to her this week. If she sees this video for some reason in the meantime, well, then the surprise is blown. And I'm gonna have to re-glue that. That's not wanting to stay on. Probably need to put some E6000 or something a little more sturdy on there. And then I just did the um, satin cord here to kind of to wrap around and tie it closed. So. I may go in and do a few more things or I might just leave it be and just send it to her like this and let her finish all the details up on it because really truthfully it's for her to play with not for me so that's it guys thank you for watching and I'll see you next time oh and if you do like this video if you're on YouTube watching this please do give me a like and a sub if you haven't already I truly appreciate it you don't have to but it would be nice you know the whole spiel and if not, don't worry about it. Don't stress. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye-bye.